Facebook rolls out free iPhone calls in the US. The Galaxy Note 2 gets more colors. It rumors into a Galaxy Note 8 for MWC. I'm Jaime Rivera. I'm wearing white for no particular reason, but this is Pocket Now Daily. The Galaxy Note 2 has just shown the world that gray and white aren't enough. Samsung has just rolled out the phone in Korea in both red and brown, and even though we don't really know when it's going to reach our shores or whatever happened to the black and blue colors that nobody's ever seen from the Galaxy Note 2, you always wanted it in red anyways, didn't you? Speaking of the Galaxy Note, new rumors have Sammy working on an 8-inch tablet with Note capabilities. And even though the specs are kind of blurry at this point, apparently this device will not be running the Exynos 5 Octa processor that we've heard at CES 2013. Apparently the device will be launched at MWC, which is just a couple of weeks away. And in our opinion, seriously, Sammy, what's taking you so long? Now, when it comes to awesome but weird converged devices, ASUS definitely takes the cake with their pad phone concept that's a phone when you need it and then docks into a tablet type device that allows it to eventually become a tablet. The concept is sadly not taken off after two iterations, but that doesn't mean that Tony and I don't wish we had a device like that. I mean, it's really cool. New rumors have ASUS and Microsoft already considering the fact that they would like to bring these capabilities to a Windows phone device. Now, the only point we don't really get is how they plan to make Windows Phone 8 become Windows RT eventually, but hey, we can only dream. And for those of you fans of the LG Optimus G, new rumors have the company working on an Optimus G Pro that we'd like to dub the Optimus G2. I mean, everybody's using the number monikers nowadays, like the Galaxy S3, for example. Apparently, this device won't be much of a departure from the Optimus G that we currently know. Same processor, though probably a boost in megahertz, but it will bring a 1080p display along with some other benefits. Probably a better design than just the glass on glass that we currently know. LG is not really a fan of launching anything at MWC, but that's pretty much the event that's coming up next, so we are expecting it to be launched then. We'll keep you posted. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Facebook has just rolled out phone call capabilities for users of their Facebook Messenger application for iPhone customers. It's currently not available for Android, and it's currently only available in Canada because it was tested there and the United States. Now, what makes this interesting is that this is pretty much Skype, and if you think of it, Skype was their partner for when they launched PC-to-PC -PC calling years ago. So that leads me to the question of the day. Would you love to have this new feature where you could just call your Facebook buddies over the application, or would you stick to Skype? In my particular case, I mean Skype is great, but hey, if Facebook is good, I would give it a try. Leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Again, always, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.